Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, are we on part 21? Um, do I want to talk to him? I don't, I don't think I do. I'm going to ignore him. <laughs> um, we'll see if I can just come straight to this. Uh, Hoko shimesu kigo no yona mono ga aru. Okay, so aru obviously just meaning to exist. Uh, so uh, so there exists uh, an object, uh, yona, sort of like like basically. You've got like kigo, which is like symbols, I guess. So kigo. Kigo no yona mono. Things that are like symbols, or things that, yeah, things that are like symbols, basically. Um, and those symbols, the symbols hoko shimesu. They shimesu hoko. Hoko is directions, basically. And shimesu is just to display. And I believe that's. Well, can that be anything? I guess that has to be transitive, doesn't it? So yeah, there just exists um, things l l like symbols that display directions. Um, okay. So of course we want to whack this out. Uh, kaze no uta o oboeta. So kaze is wind, <laughs> uta is song. Usually it doesn't take this kanji, but it does here for some reason. But there you go. Um, so the wind song, and then oboeta. Just basically you learned or you committed to memory, you memorized. But in that sense, of course, you learned. You learned the wind song. Hey, I didn't choose the direction. Don't force me. Uh, mm, jitsu ni yoi kaze ja. Uh, so I guess just a noise. And then jitsu ni. I, 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 uh, this is uncommon. Or maybe old. But uh, yeah, I guess that's like honto ni. Like really. For real. Yeah, really. And then yoi is also actually <laughs> quite uncommon. Um, people nowadays would say e. But yoi is the same, just means, you know, like, good, fine, I guess, in this case, is a good translation. Uh, you know, like, really, a fine wind. And then ja, we've probably seen, I feel like that's just a way of saying da. It's just kind of a different way of saying da that, for some reason, people like to use. I could be wrong, though. Uh, washi no namaya wa fuchin. Uh, <laughs> okay. Kaze no kamisama jayo. Okay, so washi is kind of, we may have seen this already actually, washi is kind of a, an old man's way of referring to themselves. Um, I think maybe the sword guy, the sword trainer guy used washi, did he? Probably. Anyway, washi no namaya, so my name and then Hu Chin. And I don't know. Hu Chin. I know that, like, Hu is a reading of the kanji for wind. But I don't know if there's anything more to this. Hu Chin. I don't know what Chin is. Hu Chin. Anyway, it could be it could be something to do with that. Hu being a reading for the kanji for wind. And then something at the end. I don't know. And then, Kaze no Kamisama. Just the wind god. And then, Jayo. Again, just, I guess, the equivalent of Dayo. Just a declarative plus a yo for force. Uh, Omaya wa Atarashi Fu... Oh, Kaze Zukai? Maybe? Kaze Zukai jana. Or Kaza Zukai? 
Huh, not sure. Anyway, Omaiwa, so referring to us by the rude pronoun rather than our name this time, so you. Uh, atarashi just means new. And then uh, Kaze Zukai, I'm kind of guessing the reading there. But I guess a sky is a. What is a sky? Kazizukai. Just, just maybe, maybe a user of. Like the wind user, I think. I think maybe sky had the meaning of messenger. In a, in maybe Ocarina of Time can't remember anyway it's probably just like wind user you're the new wind kind of a, a manipulator perhaps you're the new i don't know man but yeah something like that right something like that and then jana obviously equivalent of dana na just um rhetorically seeking agreement or kind of aren't you i guess uh hajimete ni shite wa naka naka yoi kaze Kaze kan, fu kan. Let me just have a look for this. And then let's finish that, I guess. Oh, shite oru. Ki ni itta zo. Okay. Um, let me look up a fu kan. Hmm. Okay, that's no good. Let me look up kaze. Kan? That's not going to give me anything, is it? Kazakan? That's not going to give me anything, surely. No. Um. Not sure then. But well, at the start we have Hajimete Nishtewa, and I think the boat guy said this to us as well, right? He said Hajimete Nishtewa, like um. I I suppose basically just translating to for a first time. Yeah, and then naka naka just meaning like considerably. Uh, and then yoi again is good or fine. And then kaza kan chikara kaza kaze kan. I don't know what this is, man. It's not, it could be fu kan. Fu kan o shite oru. Is that like a, I don't know, man feeling of wind let me um let me try translate for this because i might just have a kind of a crappy dictionary well i kind of know i do but i like it so hold on what's this no i don't like that oh wait hold on no no i don't know Yoi fu kan no shiteoru. I'll have to ask, I think. I'll have to ask about that. Because I would like to know myself. Ugh, excuse me. Um, so, yoi fu kan no shiteoru. And shiteoru is just, that's basically the same as shiteiru. Just sort of present continuous. You are doing this, or maybe, maybe it's like a good wind feeling is occurring kind of thing. You know, it's, it's, it's a good wind, you know. I feel that I, I have a good wind feeling. The wind is doing a good feeling, kind of. Very clunkily translated, but there you go. And then Kini Dazo. Um, yeah, well, Kini Idu, it's, it's very rarely like that. It's usually past tense, to be honest. When you say that you like someone or something, this is what you say. You say, Kini itta. And yeah, that's basically it. It just kind of means like, I like you. In in a, in a you know, kind of a, I'm fond of you kind of way. Um, and then Zo at the end. I'm wondering if Fukan is actually like a bit of a play on the kanji. I don't know, man. I'll ask about it. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Omae ga ima... Shutoku shita uta wa kaze no fuku hoko jizai ni kontroru dekiru uta ja. 
Okay, let me look up a few of these words. Shoe talk. It's interesting that. Okay, it's interesting that they've chosen this kanji because there's another kanji that gets used apparently. But yeah, uh, shoe talk just means learning. So, and then uh, shta to initially, well, suru to make it into a verb, and then shta because it's past tense. So, shu toku shta uta, the song you learned. And omaya ga ima. So, um, yeah, I essentially just add that in. Um, the song you learned, like now, just now. Uh, kaze no fuku hoko, so the direction the wind blows. Basically, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, yeah. Uh, the, or the direction of the, yeah, no, that's it. The direction the wind blows, basically. Jizaini, uh, I guess that just means at will kind of thing. Like whenever. Oh yeah, freely at will. Literally one of the definitions. So jizaini. So yeah, I guess ni is just making it into a verb, an adverb. Sorry. So like freely kind of thing. Kontororu dekiru. So kontororu is just control. Dekiru is potential form, so can control, basically. And then uta, so it's all just modifying uta. Um, so yeah, the song you learned just now is a song um, uh, that you can freely control the direction the wind blows with. <laughs> you need a, another preposition in English, but yeah. Um, kaze wa tsukai kata shidai de yoi mono ni mo nare ba warui mono ni mo nare. Um, so kaze wa the wind regarding the wind, tsukai kata shidai de. So kind of depending on its it, it, the way of using it, depending on its use. Yoi mono ni mo nare ba. This is basically just a set grammar structure. It kind of, it didn't make sense to me initially when I learned it. Um, because because I think I thought of this as like a conditional. And as I suppose it kind of is, but it's a set structure where you have this ba conditional. And then you have kind of the same verb as well at the end. Basically what it's saying is a good thing. Um, like if It's kind of like, I suppose, if it can be... If it, yeah, if it can be, it's not even can though, is it? If it will be a good thing, it's like, it can be a good thing or a bad thing, basically. The mo kind of means it can be, I suppose it's just required in both parts for some reason. You wouldn't say that in English. You wouldn't say also in both parts, would you? You wouldn't say it can also be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. You would only put also on the second part. But in Japanese, you put the also in both parts, I guess. You know? Yoi mono ni mo nareba. If it... If, I guess it is can, though, isn't it? It's like, this isn't potential form, but I guess it's like, if it can also become to a good thing, it will also become too a bad thing it's it's it, you know it's horribly translated maybe that's why it was so tough for me to understand initially but ni is just the particle you use with naru so that's just that it, don't worry about ni it's just the particle you use with naru so that's just why it's used because we've got naru here and we've got the conditional of naru here nareba um so yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's just if it can be a good thing, it can also be a bad thing. But you need mo in both parts of the sentence in Japanese. Kanashi koto ni washi no ototo laichin wa jibun no seki hi ga kowasareta koto ni hara wo tate. I don't know why this is tate. Um, let me have a look. Hara o tat. Right? Oh, that's... No, no. Oh, oh, okay. No, no. It has to be tate. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
That's interesting. I don't know why this means what it does, but yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. Anyway, Kanashi Koto ni. This is basically unfor or, or sadly. I've noticed you can kind of do this in Japanese. You can sort of put an adjective with koto and then ni. Like people will say something like sai wai na koto ni, which means like happily, fortunately, um, goodly. Um, and this is obviously the opposite. Kanashi koto ni, sadly. Um, I think I, I think I've got another example. I don't know. I I, I actually don't. Saiwai na koto ni, kanashi koto ni. I think there is one, but I can't think of it. I think, um, but maybe you can do this with like any adjective I, I'm, I'm not advising that you do that but i might try it out and see how it goes anyway sadly basically uh washi no ototo my little brother uh lai chin uh and lai is the reading for like um uh lightning uh well, not lightning electricity yeah electricity so I wonder if it's like, you know, he's obviously kind of the, the thunder god or something. And he's the wind god, maybe, because this is Fu Qin. And this is Lai Qin. Uh, and then Wa, so just bringing him up as the topic. So uh, my little brother Lai Qin, and then some point about him. That was going to come after Wa. Jibun no Sekihi. I didn't look that up. Nailed it anyway. Sekihi. Yeah, so this kind of just means like a monument, basically. A he is like a, yeah, just a monument usually, I think, or like a a monument, or or, or yeah, basically. Hold on, let me just look up the tombstone is also one. Yeah, it's just a monument, basically, isn't it? And then Seki is just stone, right? So stone monument, his his monument, his one. Uh, a jibun just meaning one's own, so Lai Chin's own sekihi ga um, kowasareta um, was destroyed, and then koto. So that's just like a phenomenon, the phenomenon of it being destroyed. Ni uh, hara wo tate ru. This would be tateru in its dictionary form. And hara wo tateru is just to, to be angry, like to be, to take offense, I guess. To be furious about something. Um, and so uh, I guess you just need that there. This is all just to make it grammatically work. You need like Koto there to make it into something that this can be acted, that this can be done to, you know. Um, so he is angry at, I guess, angry at the phenomenon of his own stone monument stone monument being destroyed um yeah and now we've got more information because that sentence wasn't ended because it and it's it, it, it just had tate which is the te form of tateru so we knew more information was going to come um and we have umi no uede uh is this tatsumaki o okoshite Hito bito o kurushimete iru rashi no ja. Uh, so umi no uede, sort of, you know, we know that he's going to be doing some verb because the location is marked with a de. So at, on top of the ocean, or somewhere out on the ocean. Uh, tatsumaki, I'll just check that. That'll, that'll just be like whirlwinds. Yeah, tornadoes and stuff like that. Tatsumaki o okoshite. So this is okosu, which is, I guess, you know, must be transitive. He is he is causing these tornadoes. He is kind of creating them. Um, so he's causing them. Uh, okoshite, just te form. And then hito bito, just meaning people, basically. O kurushimeteru. Kurushimeru. 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 I don't know. I don't know what the intonation is. Sorry, I kind of suck at that stuff. Um, but yeah, Kurushimeru. 
I guess, is just to to cause suffering to someone or something. So, kurushimeteru. He is, you know, he, and that's just present continuous, so he is causing trouble and pain to people by, you know, creating or causing these tornadoes. And then we just have Lashi at the end, just because it's unconfirmed sort of rumours that he's heard. He hasn't seen his brother doing this, but he's heard about it. So it's like apparently, it's unconfirmed, Lashi. And then Noja, just, you know, explanatory language, and then just da at the end, like a declarative. Uh, umi no ue de tatsumaki ni de atara chotto ototo o korashimete yatekure. Korashime, koro, kora, excuse me, korashimete. Korashimeru. Let's look that up then. To chastise, to punish, to discipline. Okay. Oh, my legs. My legs. Um, so, yeah, we have uh, Umi no Uede, like, you know, out on the sea. Tatsumaki ni de atara, if or when you happen to meet, kind of thing. Um, or encounter, I suppose. Happen to encounter uh, a, a tornadoes. And then chotto, just meaning like a little. It might... Yeah, I think I think in this case he means... Like, could you do this verb a little? Could you, you know, uh, punish him a little? Uh, but sometimes chotto, sort of just people say it because they're hesitant to sort of say something. So they might just be like saying, Ah, chotto ne watashi wa... You know, it's... It just sort of uh, expresses a bit of like, what's the word? Uh, what's what's even the word? Um, modesty, like a bit of uncertainty, a bit of hesitance. Anyway, that's not what it's doing here, so never mind. Uh, and we've just got ototo, so little brother, and then kora kora shimete. It's the te form of korashimeru, which is to chastise, to punish, to discipline. And then yatte kure is just, I don't know what that is really, nothing. It's not really anything. The kure at the end just means, you know, do that for me. And it's kind of a bit more of an order, even though it's like kind of a form of kureru. It's the imperative, so it's kind of more desperate or more a stronger request. Um than kureru would be or yeah kudasai or whatever and yatte i don't know really it doesn't really do anything it's just kind of roughening up the vibe of the of the sentence i think excuse me and then we've got tanundas oh like the rito said to us it sort of literally translates to i have asked not even i just have asked requested but it translates better to sort of you know um uh, I don't know, would you kindly, you know, do that, or, you know, please, basically, or I've, I, I, I ask of you, kind of thing. <laughs> Later, dude. Okay, cool. Um, I might... Where are we going now? He's going to talk to us anyway, right? I don't think I can avoid it. Doyara Ganon ga mamono tachio okuri kondi ta yo dano. So doyara just obviously seems Ganon ga Ganon mamono tachio okuri kondi ta yo dana. So mamono tachi is just, you know, monsters. Tachi is a pluralizer. Um, okuri kondi ta. Well, okuru is to send. So I wonder if it's like okuri kon... Kind of okuri konda? I feel it's like, you know, he he sent them in. Just konda kind of means into. I guess it, you know, I feel like it just has a more of a... Um, 
more of a contained meaning. He sent them into the island, maybe. But it, we've got it in sort of past continuous. So, Ukuri Kondeita. Seems Ganon... I don't know what this is, really. Existed having sent them in. When we saw him. Back at Forsaken Fortress. I don't know. I don't know why it's Kondeita and not just Konda. I don't know, that's weird to me. I don't know, man. I think there's a few tenses at play here. Like maybe when we saw him, he already existed having sent the monsters in or something like that when we when we met ganon i, I, I don't know and then yo just kind of doubling up the the do we are just the scenes basically yeah just kind of doubling it up for some reason i think you have to even if you say do yara you still have to put yo in but you can just not say do yara <laughs> so it's kind of funny um but yeah and then done ah just a declarative and a Rhetorical seeking agreement thing. Uh, agreement seeking, I mean. Da to thiru to. I think this da refers back to the previous text box. Saying like... Kind of standing in, uh, interestingly, to mean, you know... Um, like that is the... That is the case? It's... It's... Yeah, it kind of does. It just it just sort of declares that entire text box again. So it's like datil suru tell. It's like and suru is like I suppose to consider that to be the case. So assuming that and is kind of a translation. It's a clunky one, a very literal one. You want to kind of translate this basically as if we suppose that's the case. And then whatever the following text box says, which we'll just skip to now, actually. Um, guzu guzu shite wa idarenai. So guzu guzu is just like, you know, sort of farting around, basically. Like, just doing, you know, just kind of, you know, being slow, leisurely, being a bit like, uh, who cares? You know, just a bit, a bit dumb, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, maybe it... Oh, maybe it just means slow. Maybe it just means slow. Maybe I'm... Um... But then again, I suppose all of that other information is kind of implied anyway. So if you're going slow, you kind of are going a bit leisurely. You know, you're not... You're not like... You're not trying hard to... Get to somewhere quickly. You know, you're messing about a bit, sort of thing. Guzu guzu shite wa. This is kind of common. We might as well finish it. We've got ilale nai. So this is the potential form of iru, meaning to exist. In this case, sort of, I guess, both of, of both of us. Um, so we cannot exist being guzu guzu, essentially. Um, but this sort of, well, shte just, I guess, that just makes, that's just required to make it into a verb again, sort of idea. Um, guzu guzu shte wa irare nai. So yeah, I think we just need that. But this kind of te form followed by wa is pretty good grammar. It's good grammar to know. I remember um, I've, I've told this before in previous games. I might have even said it in this game <laughs> in the past. Uh, I can't remember. But um, um, I worked with a teacher who took the students' papers home once. And when they next had a class, she didn't have the papers. And she told the class, she said, blah, 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 you know, um, you gave gave in all your papers. I was supposed to return them today, but I don't have them. Um, and one of the kids sort of said, oh, you've lost them. Uh, and she said, naku shite wa inai. Naku shite wa o imasen. Naku shite wa inai. And the wa at the end of that te form basically means it sort of means i haven't lost them in this case it emphasizes that that verb is not something 
that she had done. Nakushite wa imasen. I haven't lost them. I've left them at home sort of thing. So I feel like in this case he's saying, um, yeah, we cannot exist going slowly, you know, sort of thing. Maybe, uh, you know, there's sort of all sorts of other ways we can be accomplishing what we want to do. But being slowly is absolutely not a way that we can accomplish what we need to do. Um, sorry about that. Move my chair around, my legs, or move my legs. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on here. Sugu ni tsugi no shinju no nemuru basho. So sugu ni just immediately, tsugi no just the next, shinju just you know god pearl or whatever. Yeah, no, just linking that. Basically, this is kind of funny. This kind of links this to this noun, but we have a verb in the middle. So it's kind of funny. But the, the verb modifies this noun. But this no links this noun to this noun. So it's kind of funny. But yeah. So immediately the next... Uh, what was it again? God pearl. Like sleep place. Nemuru basho. The place where the next pearl sleeps. And here of course we have... Minami no hoko ni mukete shukou suru zau. Uh, Minami South, Nohoko, just South direction. Ni to uh, Mukete, so kind of Mukete. Is that face him? Let me just look that up. I think that's transitive. Mukeru. It is transitive. Yeah, okay. So it must, he must mean. Like, face me, you know, turn me so that I face south. And then let's depart, kind of thing. Uh, and then shukko we've already talked about, right? Just, you know, departure, basically. But of a, of a ship. Uh, I don't really want to... I don't really want to start going. Because I'm gonna have to talk to that fish, and he's gonna he's gonna go on and on and on. Let's go, boy. Okay, fine. We'll do the first fish. Here he comes. Oh, <laughs> why did I do this to myself, dude? This guy. Look at him. Look at the way he speaks already. Oh man. Okay, machina yo anja. This might be Kansai Ben. I think usually if characters are quite eccentric in games, they usually speak using Kansai Ben. Um which is the sort of the dialect, the Japanese dialect of Kansai, Osaka, Wakayama, maybe um Nara, Kyoto, that sort of region. But I think, you know, even among those prefectures, it probably varies a little. But, yeah. So, I assume, you know, this is some form of uh, matsu, meaning to wait. Uh, actually, is this even... I don't think this is even that special. Machi na yo ancha. Um, no, this isn't even that. No, this is just how people speak a lot, I think. My ex, my, my first Japanese... Uh, girlfriend said um, she used to kind of say stuff like this like uh, s stem with na at the end like y like she would say like yame na or something like that yame na like kind of you know stop it yeah I guess is kind of the vibe of it um, yeah that sort of thing um, but yeah, machina. Uh, I guess so the yo just adds a bit of force to that. So you know, wait, a, wait a minute, yeah. And then anchan. I don't know what that is, but I guess you know, talking down to us in kind of a, a very friendly and affectionate and potentially quite patronising way. Um, but there you go. What up? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Omaya san no motteru kaizu. Doko de shi ireta ka shirane ga. Okay, so Omaya san, interesting that he's putting san there, but there you go. 
Uh, this might have actually been polite some, you know, some day in the past. Um, or Maya Sir. Because we've got honorifics on each side of the word, so or Maya Sir. Maybe, maybe polite in, in, in the day. I don't, maybe not, I don't know. No moteru kaizu. So this no, again, is linking this noun, us, to this noun, but this noun is modified by a verb. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, so your map that you possess, or your possessed map, the map you have. Doko de shi iretaka. So doko de, like kind of at where, and shi ireru, I guess is to just kind of acquire. It's, I think it's usually supposed to mean like, um, Yeah, I th well, here it says, you know, to lay in stock, to replenish stock, to procure. So maybe it's like, where did you kind of buy it sort of thing? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. The point is, you know, it's sort of get to acquire, I guess. Uh, and that's past tense. Shi uh, ireta. Doko de shi ireta. At where did you acquire it? And then cut, like just making it into a question that can be acted upon. Um, where did you acquire it? I don't know, but... And here, of course, we have shirane, not shiranai. He's saying shirane, because I feel like he wants to speak more harshly. Whether that is a result of him being kind of unsophisticated, I'm not sure. It could be that. I think it's quite likely to be that. Or maybe he's just kind of like... Maybe he's... Yeah, I th maybe unsophisticated, or maybe he just doesn't care. You know, he's got that sort of personality, he doesn't really care about... ...kind of, maybe, you know, politeness. Maybe he's just very forward, very open, very happy to talk to people, doesn't really care about, you know, showing respect or receiving respect either, I'm sure. You know, it's kind of a two-way street sort of thing. Maybe. But yeah, who knows, man? One of those options, I think. But yeah. Um, umi ikai wa hotondo nani mo kakarete ne jane ka. Okay, so umi ikai just meaning ocean, and then ikai means like outside or other than ocean. Wa uh, hotondo just basically means like almost all. Um, the Japanese really struggle with, with the word almost in English because they translate hotondo as being almost. Um, but in English we always need an amount with it. We, we, don't, we, we don't usually say almost. We either say almost all or almost none or almost half or almost three quarters. You know, we usually use an amount with it. Almost all. Almost all of it is ocean, or almost none of it is, you know, is detailed or filled in, you know. But the Japanese just translate hotondo as almost. And so you often get people saying things like, almost Japanese people can't speak English, which makes no sense in English. It's like, what do you, well, what do you mean? Do you mean almost all Japanese people can't speak English? Or do you mean almost no Japanese people? can't speak I don't, I don't know I've worded that wrong but you, you you get the idea so hotondo means almost all usually but here it's it's like nani mo oh, goodness uh, nani mo kakare te nai ideally which is the kind of present continuous passive of kaku um, so, rather than using language words, it's like, kind of, it exists having nothing, it exists having almost nothing written on it, other than ocean. You know, other than ocean, it exists, it doesn't have anything written on it. It almost has nothing written on it, um, basically. Uh, but he's saying ne, because that's how he talks. Again, maybe a bit rough, maybe a bit unsophisticated, maybe a bit doesn't care about being polite doesn't need politeness um and then janair as well say so basically saying janai so just kind of a double negative like is not then 
is not there almost nothing other than ocean written on your map sort of thing um, but again saying Janair instead of Janai because that's how he talks and then cut just questioning uh, nothing important really um uh sonna no wa kaizu to wa iwane yo um so sonna no wa just like the no here stands in for whatever noun you want it to stand in for in this case the no is sort of replacing the word kaizu or map or whatever it's like sonna kaizu wa kaizu to wa iwane um But yeah, the no can just sort of replace nouns like that. Uh, not always, but it can do that. Son na no wa. So uh, such a such a thing, or such an example of a map. I don't know, man. Son na no wa. Just such such a map, basically. Uh, kaizu to wa. So uh, a, a sea chart. Quote wa, and this is kind of. I suppose the wa here is again doing that sort of exaggerating that the well let me finish the sentence first kaizu imagine it was just like kaizu to iwane it's like uh, a sea chart quote uh, you cannot say you cannot say quote sea chart not cannot though either is it it's not cannot it's 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 do not i will not say but i feel that even though it's not potential form you can still translate it as like you know you can't you can't say quote a sea chart about such a sea chart sort of thing you can't even call it a sea chart that's how badly that's how poorly filled in the sea chart is we, we can't even call it a sea chart but yeah the wa here again i feel is just saying you know you can call it other things you could call it a waste of paper. You could call it, you know, you could call it a, a, a boring piece, you know, boring sheet. But you can't call it a sea chart. I will not call it a sea chart. You can't call it a sea chart. You can't refer to it as a sea chart. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Nande. Nande. I don't know what that is. Nande. Is this just like. I think this may, might just be like Nanda, like what's like what what what's the problem? What what why are you looking at me like that? What's the issue? Maybe. And then Shinsetsu ni itte yatteru no ni. So I think he's implying that we're sort of getting annoyed at him or something, because he's saying Shinsetsu ni. Shinsetsu is like kindly, basically, nicely, pleasantly, not pleasantly, but kindly, nicely, considerately, sort of thing. Itte um, yatteru. Basically, you could almost take the yatteru off and just say itteru, and it would be like you know, I'm saying, I'm saying it, I'm saying it considerately, and then no ni is sort of like a regretful, even though it's so it's like he's he's a bit disappointed. He's a bit no, no, he laughed actually, but he's sort of saying you know, uh, what's the problem, you know. Uh, you know, even though, even though I'm saying it, you know, considerately sort of thing. He's sort of a bit disappointed by our reaction, maybe. Uh, oh god, here we go. Got all sorts of words I don't know now. Um, hmm? What is even this? Neshon Ben demo. Give me a second. Okay. Interesting. I see Neshoben. Neshoben is bedwetting. Um, I don't know why he's gone un. I guess you just can. So instead of Neshoben, he's gone Neshonben. Which I guess is just a variation that exists. It doesn't matter. It's not any different. So Neshonben demo, I guess it's like even. Even a bedwetter, even a you know, even a kid, even a child, even a little crybaby. Um, what is this? Morashta yona pokantoshta tsurashiangati. I don't know. Morasu, morashta. 
Isn't Morasu to, to seep through? Yeah, to leak, to reveal. Morashta yona pokan. I think that's a noise. Pokan toshta tsura. Hold on. Tsurasu? No. Tsura? I need to look up Tsura now. Oh man, I'm going to have to ask about this. This is already just nuts. I don't know what's going on. Nishon bendemo morashita yona pokan toshita tsura shiyangate. I think he's basically just... I think he's basically just saying... Something to the effect of... I don't know. Like, like, just disapproving of our newbiness somehow. Did I already screenshot this? I'll do it again. I need to ask about this because this is nuts. Uh, I'm not looking forward to doing all the fish. But yeah, I can talk about this. Um, this is the stem of a verb with yagaru at the end, which expresses uh, hatred for the verb being done. Um, so she yang ad dear, and that's Teform just because he's either going to add more information or he's trailed off. Uh, but yeah, he's he's irritated at someone doing whatever this means. Um, yeah, something like that. I don't know, man. I have to ask about it and come back. So it looks like he did trail off because now he's saying Tony Kaku, which is basically like all that aside, anyway, you know, forget about all of that. Um, Konoshima ni tsuite totte oki no joho o oshiete yaru kara kaizu o hiraki na. Something like that. Um, so, Konoshima ni tsuite, this island about, or about this island. Totte oki. Let me look that up. Ooh. Totte oki is valued the best object set aside or held in reserve. Okay, totte oki no joho. So I wonder if it's like joho is information, basically. So I wonder if it's information that he did he set this information aside for us, or does it just mean valued, valuable information? Maybe valuable information. Um, and then oshiete yaru kara. So kind of because I will teach you, you know, the valued information about this island, open the sea chart, you know. I'm going to do that, so open your, your sea chart sort of thing. Kaizu wo hirakina. And of course we have this stem again with na at the end. Just a quite familiar and friendly way of asking someone to do something. Okay, cool. Uh, kono ryu no to no urate ni ayashi dokutsu ga arun dakedo yo. Um, let me just look up urate just to check that's the pronunciation. Seems it is, that's good. Uh, so kono ryu no to no urate ni. Ura is basically the, the back. It's the back of something, Ura. Um, so Urate, I don't think, really changes it. It's just Te is sometimes used for like relative... Relative places. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, I don't think it changes it much. Basically it's like at the back of this dragon island. Um, Ayashi dokutsu ga arun dakedo yo. Uh, a, mis uh, uh, a mysterious, mysterious, um, suspicious perhaps, a suspicious Dokutsu cave uh, exists, and then Undakido. The Dakido doesn't really do anything. I feel like it's just maybe uh, expressing a bit of like modesty, perhaps. That's kind of all it's doing, perhaps. 
The un there is just explanatory language, and then yo, just, I don't know, man. You can say that if you want. Um, Oshina Anchan ni Hanega Hayete te Sui Sui Sora o Toberu yo nara Ikeru kedo. Okay, so Oshi Oshi means like I remember one of my early teachers would say Oshi when I sort of maybe gave an answer that was close to being correct but not quite correct. So I feel it's like it's regrettably sort of just not quite acquirable. It's sort of like, oh, you're so close, you know, it's so, oh, she, it's such a shame that you can't quite do it. So, you know, it's sort of that sort of thing. But this is an adjective, so, you know, <laughs> so it needs to be used like an adjective, I guess. But yeah, or she, nah just like uh, you're, you're so close but not quite you know is is the is the vibe of it uh anchan ni hane ga hayete te so on anchan which is our name according to him or that's how he talks to us anyway uh hane ga hayete te hane is wings uh, hayeru is to grow and that's intransitive so if if wings were growing on us would be sort of the vibe of it I guess if you are like growing a beard, you're sort of doing it intentionally. So you are hayasu ing, you're hayashteruing your beard. Um, yeah, you're sort of growing it out. But hayeru is kind of it's for things to just grow of like their own accord. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, the point is if you had grown wings, if you had wings growing on you, hayate te. So that's obviously te without an e so it's e should be e te so um if you existed with wings growing out of you um it's not even if no if here's the if if huh? yeah if it was the state of being able to fly smoothly through the sky i guess um you know uh, existing having wings growing out of you Ikeru. <laughs> and Ikeru is like the potential of Iku, meaning to go. But people often say Ikeru in the sense of, like, to, to it, it could work. It would be effective. It will it will work. It, it, it. But it's potential form, isn't it? So Ikeru. Ikeru, Ikeru. It's literally like, yeah, it could work. Could work. We could do it. We could do it. It could work. That could work, sort of thing. Um... So that's what it's saying here. He's saying just like, you know, if you had wings, uh, if it was the state, I suppose, that you could fly smoothly through the sky, you know, having wings growing out of your body, it could work, but... And then Kedo at the end there for but. Um, let me just check Sui Sui. I'm pretty sure it's like smoothly. Yeah, smoothly. Okay, fine. Kore bakari wa doushio mo ne wa na. Uh, I don't know really. Kore bakkari wa. Kore. Kore is this. Bakkari. Let me check bakkari for meanings. Um, approximately? About? Only? Merely? Nothing but? Just after the tough form of a verb. Oh yeah, of course. I guess it must be approximately or about then, huh? Or only. So only this? I don't know, man. I shouldn't worry too much, I guess. Um, and then doshio mo ne is kind of, well, for a start, that should be like doshio mo nai. Which I think sort of translates very literally as there does not exist even do shio and do shio means like how should we go about it like do is how shio is like volitional like how shall we act how should we act what shall we do um and so i think do shio mo nai is like there does not exist even considering how should we go about it because we're so unable to do it that there's no point we there's no point even asking that question we're so ill prepared 
to try and get to this cave that he's talking about that there does not even exist asking that question of Dolsheel. How should we do it? That's how I translate it anyway. Seems to work quite well. Um, but I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work in Japanese grammar. But, uh, you know, that's how I translate it. And then one R just noises at the end. I've really got to not worry too much about all this, these text boxes. Because it's going to take me ages otherwise. Um, Joho wa ijo da. So Joho, just information. What regarding that information? Ijo, just no further up to this point and no more. So basically, you know, information is finished. The information, that's the end of the information. And then dot, just a declarative. Um, Hoka no shima ni iru dachi kou tachi ni mo renraku shite oita kara. Okay. Uh, let me just look up that word. I don't think I'm going to get anything. Hoka no shima ni iru dachi kou tachi ni mo. It's like also to the dachi kou tachi, which I guess is just, you know, what he is. He is a dachi kou, maybe. And tachi is obviously a pluralizer. So also to, you know, his fellows who exist at other islands. Len laku shite oita kara. Uh, len laku is to contact or to, uh, yeah contact and then suru to make it into a verb so to contact and then shite oita is just you know i have done it in in advance for the future um for when we arrive sort of thing for for our future arrival kara i guess you know i've done that so um and then more information will be like you know talk to them when you're nearby or whatever but let me just look up this dachi I'm getting nothing already. Oh, hold on, hold on. Dachi. Dachi in Katakana re returns the word friend. Um, so I wonder if it's, you know, from Tomo Dachi. You just get Dachi. But I don't know what Cole's doing in there. Um, the kanji, I mean. I don't know what that is. I might, I might screenshot that and ask about that as well um, hmm. just want the kanji here there it is Oops. I don't know man don't know anyway it doesn't matter too much it's just you know it's, it's his fellows right that's all it is so we don't worry too much um, yeah, so uh, I've, I've, uh, I've contacted them in advance for the future. So, Shima no chikaku de jumpu shiteru sakana o mikake tara, chikaku ni ite esa demo maite mirundana. I'll, uh, we'll cover that bit first. Um, so, Shima no chikaku de jumpu shiteru sakana o mikake tara. So, it's literally like if or when you um, happen to see. Or kind of catch sight of um, a fish who is jumping at close of an island. Or yeah, you know, when or if you see a fish who's jumping near an island. Chikaku ni ite, go closely, kind of literally, or go close. Esa demo maite mirundana. Um you know, uh, feed or something sort of thing, um, not limited to that, but, you know, just essa demo, uh, feed or something, something like feed, you know, uh, maite mirundana, uh, maku to sprinkle, uh, in its te form, maite, and then miru, just meaning, you know, try doing it for the experience, you know, see how it goes, and then dana just noises, um, just for vibe changes. And then Sonoshima no Kaizu to Joho ga Teni Haidu ze. I think Teni Haidu ze. Uh, Sonoshima no Kaizu to Joho. So that island's sea chart and information. Uh, Teni Haidu or is it Teni Iru? Let me just look that up because I'm not entirely sure. No, it is Teni Haidu, I think. Yeah, okay, good. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Tenny Haidu, so just, you know, they, they will enter into your hand, or much less literally, you will get, you know, that island's sea chart and information. Oh, Soko no... I can't read this. Sekishishi Akashishi? I don't know. Ak Akashiko? I don't know. No, Oi-chan. Anta kara no kari wa keishita yo. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, oh, I don't know. Just the noise, I guess. Calling him, right? Oh. Uh, Soko no this guy. The Red Lion Boy. Um, so, literally, like, over there's Red Lion Oi-chan. I don't know what Oi-chan is. I guess it's just... You know, old, old geezer sort of thing. Is it just Oi-san? Oh, maybe it is. I don't know if it's come... Th I don't know if it's from this kanji, but one of the kanjis for Oi is, is the one for old. Aged. Um, so it could be that. I'm not too sure. But it doesn't really matter, does it? The point is he's talking to him. Uh, Oi-chan. Uh, anta kara no kari wa keishita yo. Um, so, anta kara na. So, from you's kari. Kari is like a, a, a borrowing. So, a loan, I guess. Uh, and then keishita. So, I think it's like the, the loan from you is, uh, you know, has been leveled has been destroyed has been erased has been wiped out in the sense that maybe this his having given us information is his payback to the red lion for some kind of some kind of debt that we don't know about um yeah and then atowa umaku yan i don't know man i don't know what that is Atawa, like from this point on, I guess, you know, afterwards. And then Umaku Yan, I guess that just means like, you know, go well, sort of thing. Like I kind of, or do, do things well, very literally. I wonder if it's just kind of like, you know, take care. Um, you know, I wish you the best kind of vibe, maybe. I'm really glad that's over. Um... Okay, good luck to me dealing with those fish in future. Um, but yeah, that'll do for this part. Um, thanks for watching. Like if you want, don't if you don't. Sub if you want, don't if you don't. Um, thanks to my patrons. Hope it's been worth it. And I'll catch you next time.